going on my bad bitch team's my bad here coming in today with another unboxing this unboxing is coming from the wonderful bladesmith wyatt hines now wyatt hines i've ordered these blades for a while now and he has finally gotten them out to me and i appreciate that so much and you'll see why here pretty soon for the custom work that he does is fantastic so today's unboxing and i believe the last unboxing that will be done by this knife is coming by the asymmetrical asymmetrical chunk i don't know why i keep i always mess that name up but the asymmetrical chunk we'll have a review up here pretty soon and it's coming in s35 vn the asymmetrical chunk was given to me a uh, loaned out to me by grumpy grunt if y'all know who grumpy grunt is and you're watching my channel you're living under a rock go check out grumpy go like him go share him and please go subscribe to him he's a very very wonderful friend of the channel and this is a sweet sweet knife keep looking out for that uh overview so got the uh All right, there we go. You should never cut towards yourself, but I was doing a control type of cut. All right, packaging. That's a big boy knife inside that packaging. And some more packaging. And another big boy knife. Alright. Get that packing, stick it back in there. Put it over there. Alright, I don't know which one's which, but there's two knives here. And let's just uh, grab this first one and undo it. Yep. This is the white hans jackal i ordered this one after a little bit of controversy within the knife community just to show my support to my good friend white hans and he's got that thing all lubed up i know it needs a lube on it but i'm gonna take this and wipe it off a bit This comes in 800 RV2, 80 CRV2, I meant 80 CRV2, which is a pretty decent tool still. It's got a, a flat convex grind. I know that you probably can't see that on there. There's a slight secondary bevel and on my bad, it's probably going to do some good old jug kills with this bad boy. That thing is absolutely beautiful. You can see right here, this is chili pepper red micarta. And it's been polished and smoothed down very, very beautiful with the orange liners. And that's why on my bad got him an orange kydex sheath with the black paracord wrap see right there it's been stamped to NBA because this is a my bad adventure knife it's a my bad adventure custom of course it's a white Hans custom and you can see his WH stamp right there in the 80 CRV I'm a CRV2 so that's pretty pretty sweet little knife right there and this is called the Jackal that thing is sweet. I love it. Now the other knife, since I know that that's a jackal, this is a, a White Hans's take on the Heartstopper, which was the last Rambo movie that came out. He uh, put some stuff right there to protect everyone else from that badass glass breaker right there pommel striker or whatever you want to call it and that thing that thing looks like it'll hurt you if i 
took it and bashed somebody's head in, that definitely would hurt. Let's get a little bit more paper towel. Take some of this oil off of her. Wide, I appreciate you putting the oil on her. That's extremely good to go. This one's an LS. And that's a White Heinz version of the Heart Stopper. And this is going to be another bottle killer. This one comes in OD green with the tanner brown paracord wrap. Looking very, very sweet. This has got the natural micarta liners. I mean, uh, micarta scales with the red liners. So it's popping. It's looking good. This thing is sweet. Got that badass pommel striker. That is a badass knife. So these are the two takes from White Hines. Very, very beautiful looking. Not beautiful looking, they are beautiful. And they're extremely well made, extremely functional. I'll go over a couple of things, though I'm not gonna get into too much right now. But, can't even tell the transitions within the liners. Very smooth. The finger grips from my fingers are extremely comfortable. And I believe I can slice some bottles up very nicely with these two. So, you're going to get some jug kills coming up here pretty soon. That's the main reason that I ordered these blades is for the jug kills. And to have a little bit of fun. Besides that, this just looks like a badass wicked blade. This thing looks sweet. I believe it would be a wonderful fighter if I ever needed it to be that. Which, highly doubt old my bad's going to need that. Or at least I hope I'm never going to need it. These Kydex sheets are very, very well made. Extremely nice. This is just beautiful. Beautiful artistry and craftsmanship. Um, I'll put Watt Hans's uh, YouTube channel down in the description. I appreciate his support to my channel and I appreciate this awesome, awesome craftsmanship that Wyatt Hines does. But that's the end of this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment on my bad's videos. Tell my bad what you'd like to see him do. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.